Hello friends, welcome back and this is your friend Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master. I hope you guys are doing great and today we have an amazing trick in Excel to learn how to extract the calculated numbers from a cell. So let us jump to our Excel sheet and see what do we have it today. Well, so this is our Excel sheet over here and we have this data, nice data and there are some numbers like 188, 99, 99, 18, 22. So all these numbers are being added. So the query was that how can we extract these numbers outside the cell? Like I would like to extract the number 188 and 99 into different columns. Well, there will be two techniques which I'll be showing it to you. So we are going to see the first method. So we are going to use a simple function which is called formula text. Formula text and I will select the cell reference. So what happens when you select the formula text, it will extract whatever has been written inside that cell so we got our numbers over here wow this is what we were looking for now i'm just going to write 100 88 99 after this i'm going to just select my cell pull it down Control e that's a flash fill shortcut and i'm going to select this column now and let us go over here fill and flash fill so it has taken 18 7 and 50 again over here and flash fill wow this is a super cool trick many users they try to add the numbers in the cell and with later on they need to extract those numbers so that they can do some various calculation so this is a method what we can do it so let us see the second method how to do this so before that, I'm just going to delete this information from here. And again, we are going to write the formula as formula text. So let me select all these values which are there in formula. Control C and paste it as a value. So if you see, if I paste it as a value, it is still as a text in the cell. It has not converted into any calculation. So I would not like to have the equal to sign before the number. So I'm just going to say Control H and equal to replace by nothing okay replace all yes then made three replacements okay no problem the reason why i have not converted the last cell because i would just like to show it to you what will happen when i'll convert the data from text to columns yes i'm going to use text columns you're absolutely right my friends so i'm going to select my cells i'll go to data go to text to columns wonderful delimited yes and over here others i would please plus sign tap next and finish bingo this is what we will look it's quite easy and very simple my friends now just like to take you to the last cell you can see it is written as equal to 44 whereas it's written 18 that's the reason i would not prefer to have equal to 44 or equal to 18 I would just simply like to have the numbers instead of having an integer in the cell it will be a calculated cell there's also a query asked to me that if there is a negative number or any other calculation arithmetic operation being done like suppose we have minus 20 could be possible yes so in that situation i will show it to you how to handle that equals to formula text again we are going to take this text and i'm going to copy Control V, Control, and then again press V. So it has converted into a value. Now this value, I'm going to say Control H, and H should be replaced by yes blank, yes replace, close again this cell, and this time, watch it very carefully, my friends. I'm going to say Control H, we'll go find what, we are going to find minus, and we are going to replace this very carefully, plus minus. You just need to add some character which will allow you to split that text okay it can be a pipe character or it can be a carrot but add a character which is not available in that sequence so we are going to say replace all wonderful great and close it and again i'm going to go to my data text to columns eliminated yes it's eliminated and next finish bingo so that's a trick my friend 
I hope my friends you have enjoyed this trick video and it has been very handy especially when you have a lot of stuff being calculated in a cell and you would like to split the numbers you can do it very easily now so please push a like button share this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon you know why for the latest updates yes so stay connected and i will see you soon happy learning signing off for today your friend farah sheikh from mifshik excel master